This video is on structures passing through the parotid gland. So there are three structures which pass through the parotid gland. From superficial to deep they are first the most superficial structure is the facial nerve which can be seen here. Next is the retromandibular vein and the third is the external carotid artery. So there is a nerve vein and an artery and most superficial structure is the facial nerve. The deepest structure is the external carotid artery and in between we have retromandibular vein. Let us look at the facial nerve, how it passes through the parotid gland. The facial nerve actually enters the parotid gland through its posterior medial surface and divides into two branches. First is the temporofacial and another is the cervicofacial branch. So the temporofacial branch that will divide further into two branches, temporal and zygomatic. The cervicofacial branch that will divide into buccal, which further it subdivides into upper and lower buccal, marginal mandibular and cervical branches. So these branches actually they will be passing through the anterior medial surface first and then they will emerge along the anterior border and apex of the parotid gland. So briefly we can say that the five terminal branches of facial nerve they arise within the parotid gland and how the from which surface the facial nerve enters the parotid gland from posterior medial surface and then these branches they will traverse through the anterior medial surface and finally emerge along its anterior border and apex retromandibular vein there is a vein known as retromandibular vein as the name suggests behind the mandible so this vein is formed within the parotid gland and this lies between the facial nerve and the external carotid artery so how is this vein formed this vein uh, is formed by the union of two veins that is superficial temporal vein and the maxillary vein we can see here this is the maxillary vein this vein is the transverse facial vein which actually is a tributary of superficial temporal vein so retromandibular vein is formed within the substance of parotid gland by joining of superficial temporal vein and maxillary vein it courses through the parotid gland and just above the apex of the parotid gland it divides into two divisions this is anterior division and this is posterior division so it divides into anterior and posterior divisions let us further see which veins it is going to join so here we can see the anterior division of the retromandibular vein will join the facial vein obviously because face is anteriorly placed and will form the common facial vein and this common facial vein is a tributary of internal jugular vein what happens to the posterior division of retromandibular vein this will be joined by posterior auricular vein this is simple to remember posterior word is also there and auricle is obviously more posterior right so posterior division will join the posterior auricular vein and they are going to form external jugular vein so here we can see the typical w getting formed so this is the second structure that is retromandibular vein which passes through that through the parotid gland third is the external carotid artery and some of its branches they are going to arise within the parotid gland now the external carotid artery has got actually eight branches but only three branches two terminal and one more that they will arise within the parotid gland the external carotid artery which can be seen here is going to enter into the parotid gland along its posterior medial surface again right and then it will give a branch that is posterior auricular artery and this posterior auricular artery will emerge along the posterior border of the parotid gland then it will give a maxillary artery one of the terminal branches the larger terminal branch is the maxillary artery and this will leave the surface by passing through anterior medial surface and then the other terminal branch that is superficial temporal artery that will emerge along the base or the superior surface of the parotid gland 
one of its branches that is transverse facial artery this is a branch of superficial temporal artery that will emerge along the anterior border of parotid gland so these are the three structures that we have seen which pass through the parotid gland more superficial facial nerve next is retromandibular vein and third is the external carotid artery so which three branches arise in the parotid gland of external carotid artery posterior auricular and the two terminal branches maxillary and superficial temporal branch so that's all for this video thanks for watching and if you have not subscribed please subscribe my channel so that i can put more such videos and if you want uh the questions and answers in anatomy all types of that then visit the website that is anatomyqa.com thanks once again